All right, so Drysaddle opens the scoring 80 seconds in. First shot on goal, and since then, Ilya Sorokin just glue in the net. Everything sticks to him tonight, and man, he just would not give Edmonton anything. On the off chance, Edmonton even gets anything past this Isles team, because the Islanders, man, they would not let Edmonton make any passes east to west. They wouldn't let Edmonton get any chances through the slot. They were just clogging and suppressing so many shots that Edmonton had. Now, it's the first 10 minutes of this game, though, that Edmonton actually has a lot of great pressure, but the Isles take control over the next 30 minutes. They have a three-goal second period. They were perfect on the penalty kill. They were two for four on the power play. First time all season, actually, that the Isles power play scored two goals in a game, which is weird to me because their power play looked insane. It was so nasty. And that 3-1 lead is how they're going to close out this game as Edmonton just isn't able to close on anything in the third. Now, out of everything tonight, it's the power play that I think was just the worst display of really any power play we've seen. And this wind-up thing from way back in Edmonton's zone that McDavid does, it's really getting old because it doesn't work more often than it does. And the odd time that it does, there's enough defenders and there's enough of the opposition that clog that part of McDavid trying to break in because you can see him coming from a mile away of where he's going to try to enter the zone. So even if he manages to squeak by, he rarely actually has control of the puck. We see it swing around the boards. There's a miscommunication. There's been a few miscommunications on the power play tonight. The puck goes past the blue line. New York with a chance on net. That's how they get the third goal, actually, is a, a shorthanded goal. Zach Hyman, two very, very bad offensive penalties that he takes. One late in this game, five minutes to go. Edmonton pulls Stewie because New York hadn't had a shot in the third period at all. So why not pull him and try to get some momentum back and try to get a couple goals in those five minutes? Doesn't matter. Hyman kind of negates that. And that's, yeah, that's the game. That's the loss. Edmonton's got back-to-back -back games coming up Thursday and Friday against the Devils and the Rangers. And in their last seven periods, they only have three goals. Something's got to give here.